All right, welcome back. A health alert we're following right now. The CDC says five people have contracted malaria. Now, this is the first time we've seen cases in the U.S. in 20 years. So according to the World Health Organization, malaria is a life-threatening disease spread to humans via mosquitoes. Malaria is typically found in tropical countries. It is preventable as well as curable. So joining me this morning is Dr. Chad Nielsen, Director of Accreditation and Infection Prevention at U of Health Jackson. Well, welcome and thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Yes, good morning. Well, since malaria has not been seen in Florida for 20 years, what has changed to cause it? Well, certainly we can look at climate change as one of the reasons we're seeing more malaria. Uh, malaria spread through uh, the, the bite of an infected mosquito and as more mosquitoes or different types of mosquitoes become more common due to their spread in new environments, we're going to have more interaction with those diseases. So what are the symptoms that people should be aware of and also look out for? Well, with malaria, we see a lot of symptoms very similar to your common flu. So fatigue, fever, sweating at night, um, overall joint pain, things of that nature that most people would think, well, maybe I have the flu. It technically could be malaria if you have those environmental risk factors of lots of mosquitoes around. So uh, when you get infected with malaria, it could take two to three weeks to actually show those symptoms. But once you have them, uh, it, it's a disease that you can't really ignore. You have to go to the doctor. And once you go to the doctor, what treatment options are there for people who think that they may be sick with this? Yeah, so malaria is a treatable disease if it's found quickly and uh, treated appropriately. There's a certain type of anti-malarial drug class called quinines uh, that are able to treat uh, malaria very effectively. Uh, the fortunate thing is the malaria that was found in Sarasota County here in Florida is a type of malaria that uh, is more susceptible uh, to treatment. So it's not one of the more fatal uh, varieties of malaria. So we do have effective treatments that are widely available if you were to become infected. Now I have to ask this, is there a greater concern for maybe pregnant patients or patients that may have a lower immune system? Can you talk about that as well? Yes, absolutely. So any type of infectious disease, especially the tropical variety like malaria, you're going to have a greater risk in a, a severe outcome in a patient who has a lower immune system. So uh, pregnant women typically have lower immune systems. We know that from COVID and any number of infectious diseases, as well as kids and the elderly as well, because both ends of the age spectrum, uh, the immune system isn't quite as high uh, capacity to do its job. Uh, versus when you're you're in your 20s and 30s. So uh, those people who are normally vulnerable to uh, co-infections and other types of infectious diseases are, are more at risk for a severe outcome due to malaria. And we know we can expect to see mosquitoes this summer. Many of us already are. So talk about ways to prevent or lower our risk of getting those bites that can lead to this. This is important also. Yeah, absolutely. The best way to not get malaria is to do those routine prevention measures that most of us Floridians grow up uh, hearing about in the news as well, right? So uh, eliminating standing water around your, your house or your property. So uh, that's a big step because to eliminate malaria, you have to eliminate the mosquitoes that carry it. So uh, you want to get rid of water sources, bird baths, uh, if they're too close to your home, uh, trash can lids that are upside down filled with water, eliminate all the standing water around your home. Uh, second, we do have methods to prevent malaria personally as well. Uh, insecticides uh, that are routinely applied by the city uh, do a good job at eliminating mosquito breeding. And then personal bug repellent that contain DEET uh, or wearing long sleeve breathable clothes uh, are, are also effective ways to keep uh, away from malaria bites uh, for mosquitoes. Dr. Chad Nielsen, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Sure, no problem.